Alright, this is Celebrity Current Events Part 2. So, we're first going to talk about 50 Cent. And 50 Cent's son, Marquise, graduated the other week um, here in Atlanta. And 50 Cent supposedly was not there. And Marquise went on um, Facebook or whatever, and, and he was expressing about how hurt he was that his father didn't show up. And it was a picture of him, I think, hugging his mother, and you could tell he was crying. And you can only see side of his face, but he looks like 50 Cent. And 50 Cent um, responded back and said um, he didn't know when his son's graduation was. He was over overseas somewhere shooting a movie, and he wasn't even invited. And so his baby mother it went on the, the radio or whatever and said that, you know, if that's no excuse. If you really want to go to your, your son's graduation, you shouldn't be. I don't think a parent should be invited to the child's graduation, especially from high school or or younger or whatever. I don't think they should be invited. It's just it's like you're entitled, basically. So she's like, that's no excuse. You or your son you or your your um assistant could have called the school and found out when graduation was and you know, if you really wanted to go you, you want you would have went. So, you know, it's 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 been this battle between 50 Cent and his baby mother for a few years, and I think it's unfortunate because, you know, the child don't have nothing to do with child damn issues and problems. They don't. They wasn't asked to be here. Y'all brought y'all brought them here, okay? So I hope that him and his son can can reconcile. I, I hope that you know he takes finally takes responsibility. Um, yeah, I, I hope he takes responsibility. Him just saying, you know, I I wasn't invited, you know, or I wasn't, you know, I didn't know. It's not really that much of an excuse. That is your son's only high school graduation. So, you know, I hope they can just get over it. Um, they've had issues in the past. I've heard things. I don't even know if that's true. She said they tried to kill him. I mean, he tried to kill them, have the house burned down, pay somebody to burn the house down, some stuff, a few years ago. And I guess they've just been going back and forth ever since then. But I, I don't believe he would have tried to have his son killed. I don't. I hope they get over it, but we're going to move on from that. So, what the hell? <laughs> okay, so we're going to Will and Jada. They are being investigated because of this picture that went out a few weeks ago with um, Willow. She was in the bed. Willow's 13. She was in the bed with um, some boy that's 20 years old, and he didn't have a shirt on, but he had, like, um, a sheet over his legs, but you don't know if he had pants on or if he was completely naked. And they, in the picture, <coughs> in the picture, they look like they're laughing. Like, it's a joke. But, you know, people made a big uproar about it. Um, she was fully dressed. I don't think that she was trying to sleep with him or anything like that. I just think, and I think it was a joke between friends. Maybe that's her, her one of her older brother's um, friends or something. He's that he's supposedly another actor. But Will and Jay, they are now being investigated by with Family and Children Services. And Jada responded um, not long after, I think it was on TMZ, they asked her something. She was like, I think it's ridiculous that y'all grown people are trying to make something out of nothing. Hold on. Sorry about that. <laughs> that y'all grown people are trying to make something out of nothing. The, the picture was completely innocent. 
but I think it was innocent. I don't think it was a big deal. <clears throat> they were not doing anything. You know, she was uh, really on the edge of the bed, and he was in the bed, but she was fully dressed, and they were laughing. And they put it up on Instagram or something. I don't think they would have put something like that up on Instagram if they known they shouldn't have been doing it. But, you know, I do know that Will and Jada give their kids a lot of freedom, and sometimes they need to be tamed. But we're going to get off of that, too. So, next is Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber <laughs> was seen with MMG. They was at, he was at some kind of Rick Ross concert or whatever. And he's, like, basically being Rick Ross' hype man. And with, they start singing. They start playing Tupac's Dear Mama. And Justin Bieber starts rapping the lyrics to Tupac's Dear Mama. And he got his shirt off like he Tupac, like he really feeling himself. And I don't know. I think Justin really trying to be about their life. I don't think he is, though. Um, I don't know. Y'all tell me what y'all think. He went from pop to hip hop. Maybe I think I mean, he's a he's obsessed. He's fascinated with the hip hop culture that he wants to be a part of it. A little too hard. And it was um recently it was other reports coming out that Justin Bieber's manager has been going out, you know, um, making statements about Lil Wayne. Because he thinks Lil Wayne is a bad influence on Lil Twist. And Lil Twist and Justin Bieber are basically best friends. Anytime Justin Bieber get into some shit, Lil Twist right there. And he's usually the person that got him to, into something. So, um, Lil Wayne responded back with, Fuck you. That's my brother. My little brother. You know, you, you got something to say. You said it to my face. And you said it to my face. I ain't gonna make you eat them words. It's gonna be put on your tombstone. <laughs> so it's like, alright, I guess so. And he was uh, supposedly on his private jet when he was uh, recording that. But yeah, just to be right about this, he ain't about this real shit. When, when shit go down and get real serious, I think he gonna be like, okay, I had enough. He done been to the little jail for a couple hours or whatever. When shit start going down with some guns and become really real, I don't think he gonna be a he he ain't gonna be about this hip hop life. So pray for um <laughs> for Justin Bieber that he get his mind right. I mean it's it's okay to to like hip hop or whatever, but I think he just I don't know. I just think he's. He's too into it. Like, I like Justin Bieber um, probably a couple years ago. I I was never like, baby, baby, crazy man. But when he started having, like, you know, R&B or rap, you know, mixing it to his songs, I started liking it. I'm like, okay. I fucks with Justin Bieber. He had some songs with Boys to Men. Um, what's that song with 2 Chains? I like that. But I think... I don't know. I don't think he really bought this. If he is, man, God bless him. But anyways, we're going to go on to Mace. Mace supposedly kicked his wife. Him and the congreg congregation kicked his wife out of the church. They got tired of her shit, and they said you a bad look for this church, and they kicked her out. How you kick your own wife out the church? They must be separated. You get your own wife out the church. This shit is funny. It really is funny to me. <laughs> they said she had been the past month or whatever, or a few months, she had been getting to D. She been having DUIs, and you know she was one of the people that that said that you know being drunk is a sin, which it is. Drink is not a sin, but actually getting drunk is a sin. And 
she's a, basically, she's a hypocrite. They say she's a hypocrite. And she, she's a bad influence on church. I didn't know that you could kick somebody out of the church. I thought the church was for everybody. I go to church. I've been going to church for years. Uh, well, usually, it recently slowed down since I've, you know, moved to Atlanta. Because I don't really know too many people here, but. I didn't know you could kick someone out the church. That's interesting to me. It really is. But, you know, maybe it'll be some more stuff. Because I definitely think she ain't going to be quiet about this. Her own husband kicking her out the church. Along with the congregation. I don't think she's going to be quiet about this. So, we'll see what, um, what new things pop up about this story. So, we move on to Zeno and Sleazy being um, closed. And Zeno and Sleazy is Ben Zeno's and Stevie J's restaurant that they supposedly opened, right? They remember they was talking about it on the show um, a few weeks ago. So, they opened it, was it earlier this year or late last year? It didn't stay open long. They opened it, and they had about two fights in it. One of the fights was with Shay was involved, Jocelyn's friend was involved, Mama D got hit, or something like that. And I, In fact, I just saw the video of it on funky.neva.com. I will put the link down in the description box below, but that damn um, Funky Dineva supposedly reported that their restaurant been closed since February and it ain't been open long. And she said what <laughs> she said. <laughs> Frankie Doniva said that she talked to Benzina some months before and Benzina was basically giving her a roundabout answer and saying that that the 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 restaurant really is not gonna open because it has legal problems uh, because it was a restaurant called Mingles before or something and it was supposedly I guess something to do with paperwork or whatever but it never opened um, he said when you go past there which I haven't seen it I don't know what part of town it is I've been traveling more around Atlanta for the, since February so of course I wouldn't have seen it when it was open but he said it's it says Sleazy's and Biz and Sleazy's and Zeno or Zeno's and Sleazy's or whatever. And it basically under it say closed and it got dust on the doors. So, you know, that says what's what's going on in there. But I will put that link on down below. So next we're going to Malaysia. Malaysia Pargo from um Basketball Wives LA. Remember on the reunion, they was asking her about her husband and have they filed for divorce. And she said, well, um, when we feel like we're ready to tell y'all, then we will tell y'all. Well, supposedly last week, Malaysia filed for divorce against her husband. And they had been divorced. I mean, not divorced. They had been separated, supposedly since December 27, 2012, and they've been together since, they've been married since 2006. So, it, that's sad. I, you know, I hope they work it, you know, at least make this an easy transition. She wants custody over the three kids. They have a seven-year-old and twin three-year-olds. And, you know, she, she wants her spousal support. And he he's allowed visitation, but she wants custody over the kids. And I just think that's real unfortunate. Um, it kind of explains why Malaysia started to crack on the show. I really just thought she got sick of Jackie's um shit, but it could be Jackie's shit and her marriage altogether. And yeah, I'm, it's that's sad. It's a sad situation. But hopefully, hopefully, she'll get through it. So next is Whitney Houston's biopic. Um, 
her family isn't too happy that she has a, a biopic coming out on um, TV network when they think it's, it's good enough to be in the movies. And I was thinking, well, it being shown on the TV isn't that bad because they show, when they show these movies about the Temptations and um, Five Heartbeats or whatever old movies, they show them for years and years and years and years, over and over again. The Jackson, the Jackson Five movie, they show them movies over and over and over again for the past twenty years. And I didn't think it was a bad situation until I realized it was gonna show on Lifetime. Now, if they're gonna show it, I think it should be shown on VH1. I do VH1. Or MTV. I don't even know really MTV VH1 or maybe the regular channels like they used to do the Temptations, so everybody can see it. But um, yeah, I think they should show it on VH1, or they should, you know, pitch it to the the big movie um to get a big to get it out on a big screen. So because if it's gonna be on Lifetime. I'm not going to watch it. I'm just not. I'm not into Lifetime. I'm not one of them girly girls that, you know, sits at home and watch Lifetime. I just don't. I'm not into it. You know, I'm not old crying and sitting there watching it, watching some woman kill her husband. No, it's enough of that on the news. I'm not going to watch Lifetime. So I, I kind of agree with her family. They should pitch it to be on the big screen, and they need to make sure that it's good enough to be on the big screen. And I think that they can make that happen. Well, this is it for celebrity current events. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Jazz Chapman, J A Z C H A P M A N. And I will have a video up soon, probably tomorrow night. So, peace.